breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Gumi and Tinubu wears one trouser. Somebody say, wears one trouser. When we use that ad adjective, is a depictment of trouble. Yeah. Gumi has been as a serious advocate for the bandits, the Maitiala, and what have you. He continued to speak for them and he continued to say that the government of Nigeria should negotiate with them. Oh, yes, in no small way. He said the government of Nigeria owe them. He said, in fact, these guys will continue what they do until the Nigerian government, you know, give them what they deserve. In fact, in in Buhari's government, he was seen, you can see the picture, giving them loads of money. He knows where these bandits are. But guess what in Nigeria? <laughs> you know, we have three, four, five laws. Uh, the laws that applies in the south does not apply in the north. Mm. In the southeast, they can call people terrorists and they can labor them, whatever. And guess what? The sky will not turn blue. But in the north, you dare, you call them bandits. <laughs> you don't understand it. What a, what a wonderful country. Things can happen anyhow and people can do whatever they choose and get scored free mm, you never understand the matter now serious one day grano oh, this is some of the things that are going on now yesterday president uh, bola met tinubu say we well, say that uh, they are beginning to discover nigerians who are sponsoring terrorism in the country yes so the ucbn you know, say the new cbn chairman not be in a, in a uh, yoruba man person when he put for there he says something they discover the where the accounts that they come from from and all that. He can say, well, say they go soon announce the names of the, you know, those who they don't label. You know, say before, we Buhari did they, they, they cover everybody. Say, but we say they won't name them. Now, go me stand up. Say, they don't name anybody. You say, because while I go do, say, Kasala go boss. So, he say, we labeling some Nigerians. There is, say, uh, labeling some Nigerians. There is, say, uh, rubbish. May Tinubu no try with Tinubu fi finish. We say, they call that one threat. But I won't tell you one thing. Go me go go scot free. Somebody say scot free. You heard me correctly please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details tinubu you dare not mention any name laboring some nigerian terrorist sponsors you understand i talk now terrorist sponsors uh -huh. he says the rubbish if you try huh, you go see something <laughs> controversial islamic scholar gumi hamed has rubbished the claim that some individuals of interest are sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria. After the president mentioned that the names will be released in no distant time, according to him, these terrorists or bandits don't need any financial support from outside since they collect billions from kidnapping. <laughs> this comes on the heels of the release of 15 entitled of titles, including nine individuals and six borrowed exchange operators and firms allegedly involved in terrorism finances by the federal government of Nigeria. Reacting, Gumi, who was featured on Daily Trust, X space on Wednesday said it's only the court of law that has the right to declare anybody, anyone a terrorism financier in the country. Not even the president have the right to do so. His words, I think it's high time the government take the bull by the horns, come out to see how to redirect these people, the bandits, engage them meaningfully. See how you see how the preacher, I say they are doing something worthwhile, engage them meaningfully. Now that they are looking for one billion for these children, they cannot victims to be released. They, they finance themselves by kidnapping. I think it is rubbish to frame any political opponents as financing terrorism in the country. No Nigerian will put their money in terrorism. We are beyond that. These people are financing themselves by taking our children for ransom. So how can you say some people are financing it because there are they are mistaken. They are, they are, these are mistaken statements. The, the president is not being honest. Okay? He's not being honest. So let him come out and tell Nigerians what is really going on. There are no people financing this sort of thing the people who needs to who needs to negotiate and have discussions with these people is the president now gumi they talk so now gumi they talk so say maybe federal government they shut up their mouth mm. You know, it's me they shut up their mouth. They don't name the financiers. You know that guy, they don't name him. Look that guy face and they say now one of them. Go me, they all stand up. We say for waiting. He say for waiting. See this guy now, they name him. 
They name him as one of them. You see pictures so now. They name him as one of them. Gumi said na rubbish. He said because when they want to they name people so say na he said people na people they up with na opposition opponents eh to the Tinubu government. So now they want names. So say no be say na anything. Say me people just understand. Say all this what they do so say are fake. You know, so uh, again, when they don't name this, so what you don't hear, what is the what is the action taken by the government to ensure that this such sort of wicked people with a depraved mindset are not among regular people? Have you heard of anything being done? I guess your answer is no, like mine. Gumi is threatening the, the, the leadership of this country, telling them that they have no right to declare anybody. But they can declare, you know, people who are crying for themselves and saying enough of the, you know, undermining us in this nation, talking about IPOBs. Okay, they can name them anything and the North will be, you know, we will be as silent as a mouse. Remember where, where, you know, as Nigerians comes out to say there is hunger in the land, the same northerners were the first to say, we don't understand why the South is, is, is silent. We've not seen any video from the South is where they are saying, you know, people are hungry and all that. And the South is reply so that we become the scapegoat. We know how these things run. We know how these things run. We speak and our words, we are the ones, our leaders are the ones being picked up. Our youths and our children are the ones being, you know, being, being seen as a, a threat to the government. Gumi can say whatever he wants to say and get away with it. But let somebody else say a word and indeed you will see the wrath of the government. Then you will know that the government of Nigeria can be very, very, you know, can, can work. Then you will know that they can truly, sincerely get to action. So, my dear, when you understand, when you understand what is going on, you don't put yourself in arm's length. Yeah, and only if I go put himself, say, make a motocar jama because he gets suicide mission for heart. Apart from that, any man in his right thinking sense will not put himself in a compromised position. So care must be taken. Wisdom must become the principal thing. Say, no, you're getting, get understanding. When you understand the situation, the good way things they happen, you can say, wow, okay, okay, okay. This is how to go. This is how to navigate it. God helping you, you go can't get through it. Other than that, <laughs> have you heard of a mirage? It's a deceitful plot. You look at it, it looks like it's like, it's like, but it's never there. Yeah, it's called a deceitful plot. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Now, so now, so we can, you can be getting all our latest news. As a matter of drop by, you don't get her. You understand? Okay, so it is what it is. Okay, uh -huh. and uh, let's ensure that we do everything to help move us forward. God bless. Bye for now.